I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 580. As a sometimes gadget reviewer, there are three ways gadgets come into my life. Sometimes companies send me things to try that I keep because they don't cost as much as shipping. Sometimes companies send me things that they want back. Usually that's the case when something costs more than around $200. The most fun reviews, though, are the ones I do based on products I'm interested in enough to pay for myself. The Hillcrest Labs Loop Pointer falls into the third category. When I said on Brief 578 that I remember us talking about it on Geek Brief a long time ago, I didn't remember exactly when it was. It was during CES 2007. That's a long time in gadget years. So for it to maintain its wow potential, it has to be good. I love it every bit as much as I thought I would. I've used other gyroscopic mice before and mostly found them to be frustrating. The loop pointer is different, and the difference is kind of like the difference between the Wiimote and the Wiimote with Motion Plus, but it also goes beyond that. My first instinct was to move my whole arm to control the cursor on the screen. With the loop pointer, it's more of a wrist move. The cursor tracks along with how I move the controller very precisely. The thing that drew me to the loop pointer way back in 07 was the thumb scroll wheel. If I remember correctly, I said every remote control should have a scroll wheel and I think I was right. It makes scrolling through web pages and menu systems from a lean back position oh so nice. Another thing I'm impressed with is how it works as a presentation controller. I've tried the Apple remote, a couple Keynote iPhone apps, and I think about three presentation type mice. This is by far the best thing I've tried. I'm going to be speaking at WordCamp Dallas in about a week, and this is what I'll be using. By the way, we're giving away a Kindle and a new MacBook Pro at WordCamp, dallas.wordcamp.org. It's not all shiny happy, though. There are two negatives I have to tell you about. When I use it to navigate websites, it's great for clicking on a picture, but it's going to take a few days of practice to get used to clicking hypertext links. My accuracy at clicking the link right was about 50%. I'd like to see Apple, Microsoft, and Linux developers add an optional setting for wireless mice that would make the cursor snap to nearby links. It seems like such a familiar idea that maybe exists somewhere. Let me know in the comments if I'm forgetting something. The other disappointing thing was that it stops working when I go into front row on a Mac. This is an OS X shortcoming, not a loop pointer shortcoming, but I'm disappointed nevertheless. On the other hand, it works perfectly with Windows Media Center. That out of the way, the Hillcrest Loop Pointer is my favorite gadget I've seen this year. Pair this thing with an Elgato TV tuner and you're gonna have some fun. To pay for this episode, I'm going to tell you about yet another sponsor, Angie's List. If you follow me on twitter.com slash Callie Lewis, you know yesterday morning I woke up to find my MacBook Pro infested with ants. Because Angie's List is a sponsor, I went to angieslist.com to find an exterminator. It feels really good to pick service providers recommended by people in my community. I'll tell you how it goes on a future brief. The promo code at Angie's List is GEEK, which BTW is the best promo code ever. It will save you 25% on a membership. Thanks for watching. I'm Callie Lewis. Another thing I'm impressed with is how it works as a presentation controller. Prison? Presentation. <laughs>